Here goes a lesson on Life by the Drop by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Now this one is in standard tuning, so you don't need to detune a half step. I'm going to go ahead and get it started, and then we'll talk about the parts right after that. There's the verse, going to E, F sharp minor. F sharp minor, D to E. F sharp minor, D7, E7, back to A. Sometimes I'll put that little riff in there. And sometimes it sounds like he's going like... Which would be like a pull off on the fourth fret of the A string and down to that A down there. And he's playing a 12 string, so it sounds extra cool. Um, let's go through that beginning again and I'll slow it down. So we got. Okay, so let's slow it way, way down. So we got open to three on the A string, and then O, one, two on the D, and then G string open. And then we get, and that's where we play the D string, we wait a second, and we do a pull off to the C note over here on the A. And then we do a D to C there, D string back to that C note. That's a hammer on to the open to two on the G string, back to the open G string. And then, so that's two, one. Same thing with that kind of weighted hammer on pull off. So that's C, D, C, D, and then. Slight bend on that little three down to that D note here in the G string. So, and then you start the kind of honky tonk rhythm down to E. Now, what I'm doing there is playing an E7. You can do that to make it sound bigger and still get that honky tonk kind of going to the sixth note, they call that. See, this is a power chord. Power chord is the one, the root, and the fifth note of that scale. Fifth note of E is that B note. And so when you go, you could call that kind of a sixth chord, a sixth note riff, because that's like the sixth note of that scale. So you're going kind of from the, with the root note, but you're going from the five to the six, back and forth. And sometimes on a riff like that, you go to the flat seven up there. So that's a standard kind of blues thing. You'll see in a lot of Stevie Ray stuff too. So let's go from that verse again. Down to E. And so I'm playing that bigger chord, but you could just do that the simple way. And then we got an F sharp minor. We're going to come down here to D, and I'm going to use the open two and three down here. That'd be just like kind of a power chord. Really, you only need the open and two, but if you don't put that three there and you accidentally bar that next one, you get a wrong chord on that. So that's kind of one to watch out for in that D. But if you're real careful to have that second string muted and stand that finger up tall, you can make that really easy too. So verse again, three, four. Sometimes on this F sharp minor, he'll stop and pause for effect of the words to make it really more meaningful, you know. And then you either go down here, sometimes he'll hold that chord out, and sometimes he'll be chunking it. 
Now on this turnaround here, kind of going to the chorus, I call it the F sharp minor, and then D to E, and again. Now we have this final turnaround, F sharp minor to D7, E7, and then back to A. Now the third verse is a little different, let's take you through that. That's a little extra riff on it. There we go to the F sharp minor. And we do a little octave riff. We'll do that little D chord, open two, three, and we're not playing anything on the bottom there. So we're going from that D right here, we're going to the E, and it's octave, so it's two on the fourth string, five on the second string. And we're sliding that up to the four and seven, and then going back, so it's like, it's kind of like O and three, two and five, four and seven, back to two and five. We have a little riff here. So that's D string, two, and then a hammer on pull off to the three. And then four on the fifth string. Back to the F sharp minor, same octave riff. And then that final turnaround, which goes to the D7 and the E7 to the A. Okay, so let's go through the whole thing again. So let's slow that down one more time. See that first part again? second half so one more time full kind of slow so he does it a couple times of this to set it up and then the verse starts sharp minor and this is the third verse riff and then at the end we're going to tag that last this last chord sequence he's talking about life by the drive here goes the last one that's how Stevie Ray, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you'd like to hear next. I'm Damon Wood. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.